Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Pathfinder Solution Series again and this is the chapter of work and energy, chapter 3 I guess and objective number 9. It's a very tricky little question uh, which has multiple methods of solving. Today I'm going to present my version of the method. Even though it's a chapter of work energy, I'll try to give you a creative solution okay, to this tricky looking problem and also I have a comment on the key that is given in the book. So please do wait till the end of the video wherein I will try to tell you that there could be a key change or there is a wrong key given in the question, uh, book. Okay, so let's try to go ahead and see the formal wording. In case you are reading this question for the first time, I would urge is a very nice conceptual question um, and try it out, um, read the question on your own and do come back for the concept and the solution that I'm going to explain. Okay, so here we go. Two identical ropes A and B of uniform mass per unit length are suspended from the ceiling and are made to pass through a metallic tubular structure C as shown in the figure. The structure is made by welding two identical bent tubes. The, there is no friction between the ropes and the tubes and the structure is almost inertialless. Initially, the structure is held at rest and then released. What will happen? Uh, he's talking about the structure. So it here means structure. So it will not move at all. It will move downwards with a speed decreasing at a rate of G by two. It will move downwards with speed increasing at a rate of Z by two and the rope will heat up. This There is chance of one or more than one options being correct. Okay, so you need to understand that there is a bent tubular structure. So whatever bent part that you see here, it's a welded part. Okay, so that's together. Okay, and there are two ropes, one rope from this side and one rope from this side connected to the ceiling. Okay, so please do give it a try and and here I'm going ahead with the solution that I am going to present using the force method, even though this is from chapter of work energy. So I have tried to enlarge the diagram. It was a pretty difficult one to draw. Okay, so uh, I'll explain these circles that I have drawn here. Okay, so on this side, what I've done is this tubular structure, which is welded to each other, right? So that is a single structure. You cannot separate it out that I have taken here, the red one here, I've drawn it here without the rope inside rope. I have tried my best to label it in a um, yellow color. So that's you could see is not there. So assuming that this tubular structure goes down, which is the um, intuition that you will have that you leave it on its own under gravity, it will fall down. So I am predicting the value of that acceleration is A downwards. If A comes zero or A comes negative or positive, it's left to the final set of equations, okay? So I'm imagining an observer attached to this tube, which is coming down, okay? And that observer, if he's believing that he's going down with A, he would say, as you could see uh, and listen to him, he's saying that he's a non-inertial frame, okay? So I will try my best to draw the free body diagrams, couple of them I'll explain using this non-inertial frame. Okay, now look at the rope A that I highlighted in yellow. Okay, rope A. So this entire rope, how does it look like as seen by this observer? So imagine this tubular structure is actually going down with acceleration A and you place an observer on it and watch the ceiling. The ceiling which actually is at rest is going to go up with an acceleration A. Very simple uh, looking explanation, I guess. Okay. Which means just imagine there is someone holding the ceiling and pulling it up with an acceleration A. Obviously this part of the rope will go up with an acceleration A as seen by this non-inertial frame. So keeping that in mind, I will try to think that this bent part, whatever smooth bends that he's discussed in the problem, I'll assume that they're supported by some imaginary pulleys. So these two blue colored structures that I have drawn are in my imaginations. There are some pulleys there where the rope can bend over it. Okay. So that's my replacement there in my uh, imagination. So uh, what I'm going to do is first draw a vertical FBD. What is meant by vertical FBD is right forces in the vertical direction for a part, which is, you could see, can you see there is a horizontal rope? In order to have vertical forces, not only this horizontal yellow part I'll take, I'll take a small part here in the vertical direction. So this mass is negligible, but it's required for me to write the vertical tension force here. And I'll take a small part here, which actually will have a tension T2. Why did I write two different tensions? Because the rope has mass. The tube didn't have mass, but the rope has mass. Therefore, if the tension here is T1, it is imperative that I take the tension here as T2. Now, not only that, let's say that this horizontal length, which is here depicted as L, let's suppose I'll eliminate L, is uh, L, then the value of uh, weight of that particular part is lambda LG, where lambda is mass per unit length. So these are the real forces, right? So in the vertical direction, T1, T2, and lambda LG are real forces. 
all this is being seen by an observer who is actually going down with a then he'll put a pseudo force in the upward direction of mass into acceleration which is lambda l a now as seen by this moving guy this rope is actually going to move leftward only but never has a vertical direction so with respect to the tube the rope will not have a vertical acceleration which means some of all these forces should be zero which is what i wrote with lambda la being the pseudo force for the same part i will now try to write a horizontal force balance and for that i will creatively remove this part and only draw the fbd from here to here can you see the left of the pulley i'll take this one so to show that here i'll cut the part here to here and still claim that the length is l that's where i am ignoring the bend fx he said very small bends so i am well within my rights to either take the fbd from inside of the pulleys to the outside of the pulleys without affecting my l in the free body diagram so only for this part with this bend being negligible whatever tension i took here will be acting like this in the leftward direction same t2 here will act here because during this bend which is negligible in size a tension will not change tension varies only across this horizontal length and not across the bends is what i have used now in this horizontal fbd we all know as seen by this guy there would be an acceleration in this direction remember the ceiling is going up this rope is going towards left with an acceleration a so and the pseudo force that this observer has will not affect my horizontal fbd because it was used already in the vertical fbd okay so with a this way this fellow will again write t1 minus t2 is lambda la i nicely have the two equations in which t1 minus t2 can be eliminated just instead of this t1 minus t2 put lambda l a here rearrange you'd get a is g by 2 you got a as a positive answer that means your assumption that a is going down would be correct so the required option is option c which is acceleration with respect to ground obviously of the tube is g by 2 with a positive value now coming to the option d uh, rope will heat up is i would say a wrong answer reason being the rope that is given actually is a nice little um you could say smooth bend structure so there is no jerk in the way the rope and the tube are going to move there is no abrupt transitions of velocity whenever there is no abrupt transitions there won't be any heating effects maybe the author of the book was thinking about the tube coming off and the rope actually going to sway back and forth because whatever tube is going down the potential energy of the system is reducing therefore ke of the system will rise so just give you to give you a picture once the tube completely comes off the rope will acquire that kinetic energy and they will back and forth swing like a pendulum this side and this side if in case he is taking air resistance into account that swinging finally will stop and then you can get option d but during the motion of the tube the heating up will not happen okay so the correct answer according to me is c but if the book has given c to d this is a ambiguous one and i don't think it is correct until unless you are considering the air resistance for the final rope to stop swaying the rope is going to sway back and forth so the food for thought i would like to have for you is because this question is actually given in work energy chapter there is another solution for this using purely work energy methods and in that you will clearly see that the kinetic energy and potential energy sum up to always give you zero which means there is no a uh, chance for the heat to be uh, evolved okay so in that sense you will be not only going, going to solve for the second method but you will absolutely know that the option d is going to be wrong okay right so i hope you can check this out please put forward your comments in the comment section uh, anything that uh, is troubling you regarding this question or anything in the pathfinder please do keep commenting so that i can take it up in my next videos i am going to take more and more pathfinder videos uh, in order to help students gain their practice for both je and olympiads okay so i hope you have liked this video and the presentation of a slightly different solution please do check out the rest of the pathfinder solutions the link of the playlist is in the description below and also in the i button above and also the other series 
series which are presented nicely in this particular channel. A uh, lot of videos of each series are already over. So if you are new, I would like you to check out those playlists of the links in the description below. Try to play three or four videos in the loop. You'll understand the quality that I present with. So please do like it, share it with your peers in Telegram and WhatsApp group. Try to get me more subscribers. I'll get more motivated. All the love that you have already shown, I am very much overwhelmed with. And I hope you continue doing so. And in case you are new, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, stay safe and see you in the next video.